Hello all. In this video, we are going to see how to install Anaconda on your own machine and how to deal with Jupyter Notebook. So to do so, we will start this video with an Anaconda installation. Go to the browser and type Anaconda download. This particular leads towards the Anaconda distribution. Inside the Anaconda distributions, you can see here a download option for you. Where you have to download, you have to click the download button and probably the exe file of Anaconda will be get downloaded. In my case, already I have downloaded this in my download section. So you can see over here the file. Now I am opening this particular file, exe file for the installation purpose. Where I am starting my installation of Anaconda on my machine. So I click on the run. So the process of execution of exe file of Anaconda is started. Simply I click on the next. I press I agree and here the machine asks you about did you want this access for only you or for all the users on your machines. So in my case I am keeping a default as just for me. The next this is the basic default path where Anaconda is going to be installed. Remember that minimum 4 GB of space is required. So depending upon your space, you can change the browsing path also. I keep as it is as a default where it is a C user Dell. Inside that Anaconda 3 is my name of the package where I am installed. So I complete a next. Then I am keeping it with a default. In your case, if already you have a python, you can go for the add Anaconda only. Otherwise, if Python is not installed in your case, you can keep as a default and go ahead. So here, the process of installation has started. See, it will take a little bit time. Don't be panicked. Depending on the speed of your RAM and processor, it will take a few seconds. So don't panic if it takes some longer time. Yes, this shows that our Anaconda installation has successfully completed. Now I'm pressing the next and next. Where I can say that a successful installation of Anaconda has done. Now I want to go to the Anaconda Navigator. So you can go here. Anaconda Navigator had started now. You can see here various different tools available with the Anaconda Navigator. You can see over here Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Lab, and if you want to install some R Studio, you can simply install the R Studio also, also a pie chart. So these are the Anaconda Navigator. Now I close it and I go to the Anaconda prompt. Now on this Anaconda prompt, I just want to check the version of my Conda. To check a version of my conda, I simply write a command called as conda info so that I come to know a version of my conda and python. So you can see over here the python version is 3.9.13 which is available. Now I want to go to the Jupyter notebook. So I simply write here a Jupyter notebook. So simply I have written over here a Jupyter notebook and I press enter. You can see here my Jupyter notebook has opened. Now in the Jupyter Notebook, I want to create a, my own folder. So I go to this particular section and press a new where I want to create a new folder. So I press a folder. So you can see here an untitled folder has created. I simply select that folder and rename it as my first uh, folder. I will give a name Python for machine learning PYML and I press enter. So you can see here my new folder PYML is created. I go inside this folder and now I want to create my new notebook. My new notebook has created. My Jupyter notebook has opened and I will return over here a is equal to 10 and where I also see what is the value of a. Similarly you can see 5 into 5 which provides you to execute this particular script you have to press shift and enter which probably gives you 25. So likewise you can 
uh, play over here with the different variables and different things. It has shows that a successful execution of your Jupyter notebook. Thank you.